Hi you guys, it's Alyssa, and I'm back! Um, so I'm really excited because I finally got my new camera, and it looks so much better than my old one. I'm really excited to have videos that are actually decent looking. <laughs> And uh, it, the sound, I think, is going to be a lot better with this one. So, very excited about that. I hope you are, too. Um, today's reading is the uh, third place pick from the poll that I did last week, uh, which is, are they hiding something? So, is the person that you are thinking about hiding something from you? We're going to try to find out today. Um, and keep in mind that these readings are for entertainment purposes, first and foremost. Don't take anything I say too seriously. The only way to know for sure if something applies to your situation is to, um, I don't know, just ask the person. <laughs> Communication is key in any type of relationship. Just reminding you all. Okay, so we are going to have three options today. I just wrote these down. Um, these were just words that Spirit put into my brain. Um, fun fact, all of the items that I use to represent the piles in my readings are things that Spirit uh, tells me to use. I don't just... I don't just grab random stuff <laughs> to use as the options. Um, but yeah, the first one we have is winter. Number two is trust. And the third group is open mind. So whichever one of these words or phrases um, speaks to you, um, whichever one you feel most drawn to, Go ahead and make your choice, and we will get started, you guys. All right, group one, my winter group, my winter people. Um, fun fact, winter is my favorite season, so whatever. Anyway, I'm at peak power this time of year. Um, is your person keeping something from you? Okay, so this is just a very small little spread that we're doing. Um, I'm not going to go super into detail, alright, this is just going to be a quick read, and, um, okay. So, come on, you cards, okay. So, um, on the bottom of this deck, we do have the Three of Swords. So, I do feel like, yeah, there has been some heartbreak here. Um, there have been problems in this connection, but right underneath of that we have the Fool card. Fool card is about new beginnings, and, oh, look at this. Right underneath that we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to point that out to you. Um, this could be something that is being divinely guided guided. Um, this could be something that uh, is going to undergo an, a change and get a, a new lease on life. This connection could have a new lease on life in the, in the future. So um, this card, what is the truth in this connection? We have the King of Cups. So the truth here, the reality, <laughs> is that there is a ton of love here between you and this person and it's the king of cups so it's very mature it's it runs real deep okay um i'm gonna tell you right now that your person that you're asking about is not keeping anything from you okay there's i don't think there is any deception really in this connection um, in the deception position, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So, uh, I feel like the deception or the lie here is that, is that it's, um, is that there's no more passion for it. Is, uh, the, the lie is that the connection is dying out. Um, 
And that could just be a lie that you are telling yourself or a lie that they are telling themselves. Um, but in this position, it's like, no, that's not the case because this is the deception position. So whoever, somebody think is thinking that the connection is dying, that there's no more passion, that is not true. That is not the case, okay? Um, you're deceiving yourself by thinking that. What you know to be the truth here is the Six of Cups. So uh, this is one of my favorite cards. This is um, considered to be one of the soulmate cards. And I talked already about having this Wheel of Fortune down here. So um, I think there's a really good chance that the this connection is divinely guided, that there is a soul connection here between you. Um, what your person knows to be the truth is that there is a lot of potential for something very stable and grounded between you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Because it's a page, it's not, you know, it's, their expectations are um, practical. You know, they're not expecting you guys to get together right away and, like, get married and do some big thing like that. Um, if this is a love interest you're asking about. Um, it's more like they know that there's a lot of potential for you guys to uh, build something together that will be really solid. Okay. And then for the um, general energy of this situation, we have full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. So, um, this is not really an outcome position, but it's just, it's just extra information about the situation, and the extra information that they wanted to give you is that things are going to work out, um, things are going to work out really well, in fact, because... You know, full moons are about conclusions, so whatever, however this connection has been moving so far, like however it's been progressing up until now, I get the feeling that you guys probably aren't con aren't very happy with it, and I mean, maybe that's why you're here, because you want to know if there's something going on, um, but with this being a full moon, it's like, that cycle is going to end, and this connection is going to be renewed, okay? Because after the full moon, eventually we get to the new moon, okay? And the new moon is a brand new beginning. And it's going to work out really, really fine. <laughs> really good, guys. Okay? So, um, I think I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. That's your reading. Um, I said I wanted to keep this pretty quick, so... I think I am succeeding so far, um, but we still have two more groups to go. <laughs> so I hope that gave you some insight, my friends, and um, thank you for watching. I hope I see you next time, group one, and we're going to move on now to group number two. Okay, group number two, if you chose the trust card, is your person hiding something from you? We have here, um, this is just a very small little spread. I don't want to get into too much detail. I want to keep this reading pretty quick. So up here, this top card is the truth of the relationship. Okay, and we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Pentacles reversed tells me that something is not being worked on, something is not being addressed, or someone is being lazy, somebody doesn't want to work on something. And I feel like it is, I feel like for a lot of you who chose this option, you and the person you're asking about have had some type of falling out, and maybe you have been talking about, you know, fixing things, getting back together, making amends, but I feel like the other person is not taking it that seriously because here, this is um, the deception, this position, and we have justice reversed. 
So Justice Reverse tells me that somebody is lying about something, and over here on the bottom of this deck with the Ace of Cups, I feel like um, they are lying about uh, about wanting to get back together, basically, about wanting to fix things. Um, or they're lying about, you know, how willing they are to do that. Because this card down here, this is um, their truth. This is what they see to be the truth of the connection. And this is the Page of Wands. So I'm feeling like pages are kind of immature energy and wands are very sexual, passionate energy. So I feel like they just see this connection as... I want to say they just kind of see you as like a, a booty call, like, you know, somebody they can hit up every once in a while, but I don't feel like they feel that seriously about it, which is really super lame. Um, and then for what you know to be the truth of the connection, we have the, the Queen of Pentacles. So... I almost feel like there's some kind of maternal energy here. The, okay. This connection is not balanced. Um, one person is definitely putting in way more effort than the other person. One person is definitely kind of babying the other person. And I feel like it's you babying them. Um, and what I mean by that is like, you are putting in twice the amount of work that they are because you're trying to make up for the lack of effort they're do they're making. And it's like you maybe don't want to acknowledge that you're working so much harder than them because because you do you I think you want it to work. I think you want to have this ace of cups moment, but it's like they're just not doing it. They're not, they're not making the effort and they're, they're lying about the fact that they, they're lying by saying that they are, you know, they might be saying like, man, I'm trying as hard as I can, but that's not, that's not the case. Um, cause I don't really feel like they want to try. And then this card in the center, this is, um, any additional information that the cards want to give about the situation and we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so I'm feeling like the person that you are involved with is very um, emotionally spiritually immature they are like I think they're blocked energetically blocked uh, I feel like this is somebody who has pretty low vibrations this is somebody who has issues that they need to sort out um, before they're going to be ready to be serious about anything, pretty much. Um, I think this is someone who has a lot of growing to do. And they're just like, they're not going to come around until they do some growing up, I feel. All right. Group two, let's see if there's, I hate to uh, leave readings on a negative note, but, you know, I also don't want to, I don't want to tell you lies, you guys. Oh, but look, nothing will come of this situation, but also expect powerful change. So there are new, other, better, bigger things on the horizon for you, group two. Okay, so, there. I was able to end on a positive note. So, now we can move on. <laughs> Group two, that's your reading. Um, again, like I said, I'm sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I also can't lie to you guys about stuff. So, um, there's that. And, like I said, this is just, you know, you got to take everything that I tell you with a grain of salt. Because I... I can't know your individual situation um, specifically. This is just the um, collective energy, okay, of all the people who chose this option. So, group two. 
that was your reading. We're going to move on now to um, group number three. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time, group two. Bye! Hi, group three, my open mind card friends. Um, <laughs> so, is the person that you are involved with um, hiding something from you? This is a very small spread. Um, like I said in the other two readings, um, I want to keep this pretty short, all right? This is just quick. I'm not going to go into super detail. So basically, the gist here is yes, they are hiding something from you, but it feels very mundane. Like, it doesn't feel like anything serious. So this top card here, this is... Um, the truth of the, the this connection okay and this is the seven of wands so i feel like um people both parties involved are really making an effort you know when it comes to this connection i feel like both of you are really um determined to see this thing through okay the deception though is we have the three of pentacles. So I feel like it's related to money or or jobs, okay? Um, and we also have finances and career here. So this is this is the um additional message, okay. Uh, so I feel like I feel like your person could be deceptive about either what they do for a living, or how much money they have. Okay. Um, on the bottom of this deck, we have the Four of Cups. So this card talks of uncertainty. Um, in this case, I'm getting a real sense of not feeling good enough. So maybe your person has, it has been deceptive to you about what they do or how much money they have because they feel like you wouldn't like them as much if you, if you knew that like they were poor or they had a, sh a crap job okay um so that's interesting um for what you know to be the truth we have this, the knight of swords so i really feel like they they're very straight up about everything except for this one thing. Um, and what they know to be the truth is the Page of Swords. So that's kind of interesting. And I actually think I want to pull out a couple more cards for that to get some clarifiers. So, uh, Six of Pentacles. Yeah. These two cards, these all three of these cards actually are about communication so i mean i feel like you guys have really open communication we've got seven of pentacles again this is more about work this is more about um reaping the the benefit of hard work they've worked hard to have somebody like you in their life and I think you've worked hard to find somebody like them. <laughs> Look, the Four of Cups is back on the bottom of the deck. How crazy is that? Um, and we also have the Nine of Swords that came out. So it's like... This is definitely a relationship that is built on honest communication. But there's just this one thing that they're not being honest about. And it's like keeping them up at night. It may be that this is a... A, a lie that's gone on for so long that now they feel like they can't tell you the truth and they have a lot of anxiety about it and they just don't know what to do. They think, they feel like if they told you now that you would be like, what? Why would you even lie about that? That's so stupid. <laughs> and it is kind of stupid, but you know, it probably started, they, <laughs> I don't think that they have bad intentions. I think they have very good intentions. And it probably just started as, a, you know, a little white lie that just kind of got out of control. And now they're like, they feel like it's suffocating them. So group three, you might just, I don't know, you might want to <laughs> talk to your person about, um, so, so tell me more about your job. What do you really do? No, I mean, like, what do you really do? 
<laughs> that kind of thing. Okay, so group three. Very interesting little reading. Okay, um, I think I'm going to end it there. <laughs> so that's what your person is hiding from you. Um, try not to be too mad at them. They have good intentions. <laughs> um, so that's it. Uh, if this reading resonated with you, pl please feel free to let me know. I love to read your comments, guys. And um, if you're from a previous group and you're still here, thanks so much for sticking around. It really means a lot to me, all the support that I've gotten from you guys. It's like overwhelming how positive my response here has been. And um, I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers and commenters. I love you basically. And thanks again for watching. I hope I see you next time. Uh, bye!